Uh, thank you so much and uh, welcome back again to episode two of uh, my testimony. This is a show that brings you the life experience of uh, Adventist students, especially in Kenyatta University and uh, Costa as a church. And today joining me is my sister, uh, Penina To. Uh, hello, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Karibu sana. Sante. I'm glad to have you today that we can uh, discuss, we tell the guys about the experience that we're having here in Kuzda and how we live around here, as well as also being uh, students. Yeah. I hope you're doing well. Yeah, I'm fine. This is um, are your last semester. Yes. Okay. So for those who doesn't know Penina, who is Penina To? Oh, Penina. My name is Penina To, as you've heard, and like, I've been here, this is my, let me say, the fifth point one semester because I should have been done by last year but I had an extra semester. I began my studies in 2016, September. Uh, I pursued industrial chemistry with management. Yeah, that's me. Oh, industrial, industrial chem? Yes. What, what, what actually is uh, your profession aligned to? Are you going to more of research or lab? lab? It cut across. There's okay. manufacturing. Yeah. There is product development. There is analysis. There is research. So oh. it depends on which line you want. That's so you do some kind of specialization at the end of? The no, no. Actually, at, at the beginning of your undergraduate, it's just general because you study all of them. Yeah. Literally, like we study manufacture of everything. Wow. Yeah, all anything that can be manufactured. manufactured. Yeah, <laughs> beginning from... vaccines. Yeah, all <laughs> of that. Actually, that's <laughs> why we do that in our final year. Okay. Pharmaceutical chemistry. Okay. Yeah, uh, you begin with food. There is alcohol, everything. There is cloth. There is wow. this even the the clay, the glass, and everything. So There's petroleum. Yeah. Where where, where is you are you tending to after graduating? Maybe you want to do your masters and all that. Oh, uh, I think my I'm more interested in the pharmaceutical chemistry. Pharmaceutical chemistry. The manufacturing of the drugs, product development and analysis. Yeah. Oh, that's great. No, many people all some sometimes tend that uh, you know this this courses are difficult. You know, ladies should not be doing them. Is, th is it perception? Is it? Uh, let me say it is <laughs> perception. Yeah. Because uh, at the end of the day, I noticed something when I came to campus. Mm. There is no course that you can say this is male dominated or this should be for men or ladies. Mm. At the end of the day, everything is your input. Yeah. You can think that maybe the, 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 the you view that this is a course that requires less energy. But at the end of the day, you have to put your energy there sure. in everything that you do. Sure. Uh, I can't just say because... Uh, Chemistry is not that easy and it's sure. not that hard. Yeah. So the fact that you just put your energy, give it all your best, I think that is it. Yeah. yeah. Chem is not a joke, even for my school. <laughs> 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 the high school part was, <laughs> let me just say, that is just but a nasty, like, you can't compare with the campus chemistry because you study really deeply. Like, as there's a time, uh, I think, you know, point two semesters where you do up to six units of chemistry six. and all of them are varied. Sometimes you find this, this is just pure mathematics, <laughs> chemical <laughs> mathematics, no theory and everything, so that's it. But God has been gracious to you up to, up to this moment. Uh, sure. Obviously the life has been from when you joined in 2016, up to this moment, you had some extension of the, of the, of the semester. In a nutshell, how, is, how has life been in KU? Uh, let me just say, KU, when I came, first of all, you know when you're in, camp, when you're in high school, yeah. you anticipate to go to campus. Sure. Uh, you've been told a lot of theories. So, you know, you come when you're scared. You're told yeah. this is campus, this happens and this happens. At one point, you want to be in campus because, you know, after university, you know, that face you want after this, you get a job and everything. Yeah, and then when you're now mm. here in campus, things are really different. Sure. No one ever tells you. <laughs> some things you find by your own, some <laughs> things you have to learn. So, let me just say, I came from a, a girl's school. So, coming to, this is a public university. And this is a this is a university. Yeah. They're both guys and and ladies. ladies. So you find at first it was hard, yeah. mingling with guys around. You know, I was given yeah, your hostel. Yeah, there is ten to ten rule. You given <laughs> uh, you still wonder it's ten p.m. and there are guys still in the hostel. Still the hostel. Yeah, everywhere my class we were like nine ladies, fifty guys. So you wow. find <laughs> all around was guys. So I think let me say it was a bit hard f at first. But later I came to learn to associate with men. Not every guys you meet, they want like you for a relationship or something. Mm -hmm. Just want some just yeah. want mutual friendship. Yeah. And at the end of the day, it's upon you to set the boundaries, to mingle with them and be with them around. They're good to have guys around you. Yeah, sure. We mentioned that you are nine in a, in a class of 50. In my class, you are when we joined 2015, 
we were around 27 and we had three ladies yeah. but uh, in uh, in year 3 we remained men then we are being called aerospace men <laughs> <laughs> actually uh, but it is it is good uh it's good to, so to socialize yeah. it's good to mingle around it is good not to prejudge people exactly. some people can be your your, your key allies no in future you, do, you know we never know what what comes uh, 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 tomorrow yeah and those who are coming from uh, high school Vision, di vision different for ground. Yeah, <laughs> it is very different because very you find. Eh? I remember when I was joining, I had an, uh, my elder relatives. They were they were all coming from the campus by then. Yeah. So I remember they tell they told me that's what I won't forget that. They told me I know you'll go to church and then you know go to church the first Sabbath you'll find these guys in suits <laughs> that dressed officially they call you brother mm. sister you know mm, and then they just yeah <laughs> brethren and then you know they told me be careful with them. Not yeah. everyone has a good intention. Sure. So the first Sabbath I came to Kuzda, like literally everyone was in a suit. <laughs> so, you know, I was scared. Like, scared. Oh, uh, this, this, is now this is what you are warned. Yeah, I was warned <laughs> against. against. But, you know, at the end of the day, you come with that perception. But what is the real, the real, real thing? thing. Yeah. yeah. So it's, up, it's just upon you, like, have everyone has a life, like. Sure. And then the way you master your art of doing things is very different. You know, with them, they advise you based on their experiences. But yours is, this is an experience you're making. Yeah, sure. Yeah. So when you, when you joined, uh, you came to Kosa direct or you took some, some years before you, you realized where Kosa is? No. Uh, the first, I remember during the day of admission there, yeah. there was a table. After you were done, there were SDS, EU, Catholic. So I just went straight to the SDA. I told them I'm an Adventist. They took my number. I can't remember who was the person. Mm -hmm. I remember uh, we came, it was it on a Tuesday or a Monday. So we were called on a Wednesday. Mm -hmm. There is a prayer service. Yeah. So Kuzda, Nikapeo Direction, Yuma EZ. Then you even don't know where EZ is. <laughs> so I remember on the first on the first Wednesday I didn't make to come to Kuzda, but on Friday you came. I came to Kuzda. Actually, I came to Kuzda. I came at was around four, and I found a group that they having the Bible study, the Heralds group. Yeah. I joined them. Joined I joined the, the, the Bible group. <laughs> we had the Bible study, <laughs> and then that evening we had the candle lighting. I think. Yeah, and then the first Sabbath I came to Kuzda. And that is how you remained in Eralz? Yeah, I remained in Eralz. Are you and still I'm in Eralz? Yeah, yeah, I'm still, <laughs> but not <laughs> that active member. Or you have been an associate? No. <laughs> but I'm so still but part of Eralz. You served there? Yeah, I served in Eralz. Oh, in my first year, yeah, I served in Eralz. First year? Yeah. What? What? What position were you serving? Oh, at first uh, I served as the ALO assistant. Allo leader. Assistant leader. Yeah, and then the second year... I served as the secretary. No, my first semester, I was the ALO assistant. The second semester, I was the ALO sec I was the herald secretary for some time. Okay. Yeah. So, like, uh, you know, in 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 Kuzda or in campus uh, across the, the uh, Kenya or not like Kenya alone, but I think uh, globally, mm -hmm. there's a uh, ALO, so Adventist Ladies Organization. Yeah. In what in local church we say Adventist to women, women ministry. ministry. Yeah. So. Maybe to someone who doesn't know or someone who is hearing this for the first time, okay. what actually is the ALO department is responsible to, to now that you served in that department under the ministry? Actually, it's just uh, concerned about the welfare of the ladies, yeah. the spiritual. You need to fellowship with girls. You know, sometimes you find here at campus, people go through a lot. Sometimes sure. you don't know who to talk to. Sure. And with the fear of being judged, eh, people decide to keep it with themselves. themselves. So you find this is a platform where girls will have a girl's talk. At least, you know, this is a lady, you can tell them, maybe they've been there, they can encourage, and yeah, yeah I think that's it. Yes, it's, a, it's a, a community of, of daughters ladies. of God. Yeah. Yeah, that's wonderful. So, from uh, from Eralz, you transition to church, to like a uh, main church, did you serve in a main church? Yeah, I served in Kuzda as the head of chaplaincy. Chaplaincy. Yeah. In fact, that's I think the, f the, the first time I knew you. <laughs> oh, yeah, I wasn't... To uh, chaplaincy. <laughs> Yeah, people call me that to a chaplaincy. <laughs> oh, but I'm chaplaincy. <laughs> so I think it's out of heralds is where I was known in church. Mm. Because I was this type of a person. Like At first, when I go to a strange place, I don't talk to people. So even in heralds, the first time I went there, mm. I would only uh, participate in the Bible study where I would ask a question or I would add a point or a comment. Mm. And then after the discussion is done, I'll just rise up and go. And then I used to work alone, you know, it is unlike first years, they always work in groups. In groups. So I was just alone. So at first people thought maybe these are third year who's never been coming <laughs> to church. 
maybe and then yeah. when they knew me in Kuzita is when when they were doing the elections my name was suggested and I accepted to be the head of chaplaincy yeah I know it was hard the first time being a leader yeah. this is a 2000 plus population yeah. you don't know what to do sometimes you know you're given a position these are departments that are not in our local churches sure they're yeah they're so they're it was so but we learned hectic. yeah and you served one term and you said enough with it no I served <laughs> one term yes but uh it was nice it has its own challenges it has its own share of advantages you know at first uh, let me say you coming to let me say the public you don't know how to handle these people sometimes you you plan something like us the chaplaincy most of it to be effective you plan for these out outreaches you go to a hospital you go to prison ministry all of it yeah. is under you yeah, you have sure. yes you are the people working but everything is it's under your control so you find planning for these things at times you, it involves finances this is a student based church sometimes there are no finances you need to convince people to join you to accompany you you know people don't don't yeah. see the sense like my, my sunday how do i do i, I just waste my whole sunday to just go and play with kids or to just go to hospital, hospital and talk with these people yeah you see so it was hard recruiting people talking to people it was mobilizing them to join the department was hard but i think as i exited it was better than i left yeah, yeah sure. because there were more people and at least people were more aware of chaplaincy sure and actually they felt the need of ministering to this people in the society yeah sure and uh, so basically the the chaplaincy department is just responsible on a uh, uh, making kuzda align ourselves to the call of christ that uh, i was in prison you never yeah. visited me i exactly. was in hospital and you never came for me i was walking naked and no one gave me a, yeah. a clothing it is more chaplaincy so is more mm. of a it is an outreach ministry outreach than an enriched ministry yeah yeah y- you plan where d- you minister to them outside you know and then at times i said uh, i saw a challenge that was there is like uh, we are students sure. so maybe sometimes you're supposed to go out you need finances for your transport and everything munafa kuchanga pesa mununuwalia food ama kama ni chakula ama kama ni nguo so at times it was training yeah. but you need to back people at least sure. that your 100 that your 50 that your 1000 but it was church also would help a lot yeah by the you'll make a budget sometimes it was the budget will be straining Nine, they come and say yeah. you know let us reason together he seen necessary let us cut this so you find <laughs> those were the things that were happening your yeah, finances is, is always an, an issue in, yeah. in church because they're being uh at 90 around 99 percent students, students yeah and these are students that survive from uh, the money sent from the parents so we don't expect much mm-hmm. uh, from the uh, student but god has been gracious Amen. the little we have sure. the little that the, the students have bring them together go to the prisons or or uh, ch- children's home and uh, minister there yeah i think uh, i think you are proud of the service that you did there mm. but, I, it was but a good one. are you <laughs> it was it, i remember i i served in the nomination committee that uh the term when my term was ending and you were supposed to be nominated back to that position but unfortunately you 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 you, you declined i've never known the the, the reason why <laughs> <laughs> you know at times uh i don't like philosophy but let me just say uh at first when we were entering and when we were leaving mm. at times we, i weighed out like I was growing a bit like it was overburdening. Eh? Do not because of serving or everything, but you know, I was in Herald, I'm in church. I remember by then I was doing the Bible school, you we were running a, a program here in church. Yeah. You find I still have my studies and everything. And that's why Unapata sometimes you do, but at the end have you you've been a leader. You notice yeah. that everything good, eh? the credits will go to the masses. But a mistake done will only be counted to the leader. Sure. That's so you true. find at times uh, it's good serving okay we don't expect to be given compliments or something but you know i just felt like i needed a break for myself yes. you know but uh, since then not that i stopped serving i've been in that like in their council i've been part of them anything they would ask i'll be there i've been serving in kuzda as the lesson teacher nev- i never left that and then in my ministry back called upon to do a bus- bible study or something i've always heeded to the call sure. but you know this leadership sometimes it uh in yeah, 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 it is. I, I, I know you understand. Sometimes, yeah. you know, coming, I remember the times you could come to PM, you come from 6 up to 10, you have an exam tomorrow, you have a report to write, you're supposed to submit and everything. You know, trying to tell these people, people are like, no, this is in kitu ya kujitolea, but no, at times we grow weary, we humans. Eh? Yeah. But I think 
it was good uh, and then again you g- you supposed to give others an opportunity, an opportunity to serve, yeah, to serve as because well. if i would go back to that uh, place i think i'll just lived i will have left serving for two terms until i'm done but i've seen i've enjoyed seeing nurturing someone yeah. in that position someone came yeah. in someone and nurtured came in and i nurtured the person mm. all through the period we've been there until even the incoming the, the current owner yeah, we've sure. nurtured i've been there with them i attend their meetings like every week i come we talk with them they ask what is this how about this anytime i'll give the help when they need it wow yes yeah. that's, that's wonderful during this time of covid 19 it was uh, being mentioned in the media that the states of the country that countries that are being run by women in a, a way they better managed covid and uh, uh, 19 personally actually i enjoy women leadership mm-hmm. be it from the church or the politics or the nations like in kuzda uh, your leadership in chaplains and all the ladies that have positions that uh, uh, are important uh, to the church you have seen the great importance uh, the, the 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 virtue that you bring in so as you uh, as to are uh, awesomely like the kuzda alo leadership do you have something to to say on that oh uh, let me just say one kuzda has been a platform where it has nurtured leaders yeah Yeah at first le- let me say, let me show my own example when i came to KU as i told you to a strange land or a new land i never talk <laughs> so because i came to heralds they were friendly that's why i began talking yeah. i would do bible studies with them until that time you remember jena goenga yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah she noticed like i can be a good lesson teacher because i i was a good bible study teacher yeah. so until the day they came to kuzda i used to come very early for the prophecy classes so when the sabbath school begins i was there yeah so uh, it comes may the lesson teacher stand please <laughs> no one was standing at least two people stood yeah. and then he said i she said i know some people who are who can teach nicely yes. but they're not standing please stand and actually she mentioned my name so <laughs> please stand so you know up t- from there maybe i needed someone to coerce me like you know yeah. and then i feared the multitudes of people and the maybe like i'm just i'm j- I was so small when i was in first year, first year. so literally like <laughs> But since then I've embraced and then you know the fact that someone is looking up to you it keeps you on track you know mm-hmm. and then the fact that uh you you give you, you know that you give you have that ability use it for the glory of God yeah yeah and then you find when you talk about m- that's where you find most girls or most most ladies they fear coming into public because one people will talk behind your back you've been a leader sure. yeah sure. yeah it's normal no, not not everyone will like you actually. yeah not everyone yeah. and then and when you find a point where everyone is liking you no something is the wrong the south is really wrong yeah. somewhere when everyone <laughs> is hating you something is wrong yeah. at least there should be a balance yeah, at sure. least 50% or 40 60 70 30 so you find here most that's why you find i think it has been a problem in kuzda where few ladies would like to come out Yeah. Yeah, they ask them, "Please come, please do this, please lead in this position." But the only reason they always give is like they fear being judged. Yeah. And then secondly, you know, the dress reform, the health reform, reform the, the things, reform, you yeah. know, when you preach this, when you preach water and you drink wine, you know, I can't, you know, I'm not going to make it and something. But all I will just say is uh, the first thing that you can do is accepting. Are you willing? Sure. Once you're willing, trust me you things will just fall in place. Simple. Yeah. Because we entered into le- leadership, we knew nothing about chaplaincy, literally. I knew nothing, but you know, you go there, you ask who have been there, you being led and you learn one two three and at the end of the day, you perfect the art. Sure. Yeah. But uh, uh, anyway, God usually leads people in a uh, a given way. If, if God chooses you, he wants you to ac- accomplish a, a mission. Yeah. Uh so uh I can remember when you mentioned Jane, she actually she was the one also who recruited me to be a lesson teacher. Yeah. <laughs> she would actually, you know, <laughs> coming in front and asking you, Brian, stand and teach this. You know, you everyone is looking at you, you just have to stand. Yeah. I and then from there, then you love a consistent class and that's it. I remember uh, she when uh, I I I ordered a lesson through her and it was a Friday vespers and I went to pick the lesson and she told me Can you be a lesson teacher? I said, yeah, it's fine. I can try. Okay, wha- good. Tomorrow come in the morning, you have a class. Mm-hmm. That's why I started, I, started, I started my class and I've been a lesson teacher up to uh, uh, this moment. And it's amazing how God use you in a, uh, use us in a different way. And when you were mentioning that uh, when you enter the chaplaincy, you were new, you had no idea what this department is. The same, same way it happens when it happens to me when I went to global missions. 
no idea when i came to a uh, uh, eldership no, no idea. idea but we see mercies of god in every step and even those who are uh uh, uh, uh when we're called upon yeah. to serve god in the church just never question it just say like isaiah yeah yeah my god send me and god 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 will send you yeah and uh, you mentioned something like uh prejudgment or yeah. uh, uh, people, the fear. How will people see me? Uh, how, how do like you personal? How did you manage this? Because people talk. This is a student-based church. People talk a lot, and sometimes you can be say, "I this is too much." Uh, let me say, if you allow what they say about you weigh you down, it will actually weigh you down. Sure. Because yeah. I remember there's a time huh? you can't please everyone. Yeah. I'm very sure uh, you being a lady, the guys, number one, you're a lady, some guys will want you yeah, for a relationship on something. So, you know, you saying them like to them, no, mm. that is on a Friday. And tomorrow you're supposed to offer prayers. <laughs> tomorrow you're teaching a lesson and they come to your, your class, class to get the point. Yeah. They may spread the rumors, you know, anything negative about you. Yeah. The fact that you understand that is normal. It is bound to happen. Yeah. And then secondly, just understand why are you there in that position sure. to begin with. So much are looking up to you and there is a lot of responsibility that comes. Let me just say I manage because uh, let me say I, I, I like dealing my things. You know, I had a way of dealing with my things. This is a church thing. I must be done with it. Uh, sure. Yeah. So that is it. No matter what they will say, no matter what they will do or anything, I'll just still have what? My responsibility being done. Deliver my duties. And that was it. You give it your best. I give it my best. You look to Christ. The others we can sort it later. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. it is a. Let me say example. You find someone. Uh, have you ever heard something people talk about you until you wonder about yourself? Is that is me? That really Tell me more. <laughs> because that is not me. You know, the moment yeah. you give it a, a half a hand on your mind, uh, it's going to weigh you down, sure. and it will actually you will be intimidated. And you actually feel inferior, like I'm not even worth to be here. Yeah. But the moment you know that you have something to accomplish and to finish it, that is it. Because it. the department won't understand that you had a problem. The dis- department won't understand that. You know, people spoke badly about you, so we can wait until you're okay and <laughs> then come back and <laughs> accomplish your duties. Sure. It doesn't happen that way, yeah. And I've known you as a very tough lady, by the way. Like when I see Penato. Is this, you know, a human being, there's how you, you see someone and uh, we tend, no, normally we tend to know this is a serious person with the, with the work of God. You have gone to the missions, how you handle the Bible studies, you handle across the lesson. Uh, in, ca- in short, I can say you are a staunch Bible student. Mm-hmm. And if there's a challenge that we face as university students is uh, uh, sometimes not taking time to study the scripture mm-hmm. oh i have cards oh i have classes oh i have this and the all that because first uh, sometimes someone finds a time to go out out for an outing mm-hmm. and not find time to read the, the scripture how do you read your scripture or how do you take how do you allocate your time to study the word of god uh one mm. it depends it begins from what is your relationship with god yeah. And do you do it because uh, do you do it because you're a leader? You know, kuna yeah. like because you're a lesson teacher, so we expect you to, expect learn, you to eh? learn. Do you do it because of people, or do you do it because it is something interesting? I always say a relationship with God is like a headache. <laughs> You'll tell me, to mm. I have a headache. I will only empathize, yeah. but whoever feels the pain, the actual pain is you. You, yeah. you know, it is the same thing. You enjoy. Th- you enjoy the love and the goodness of God. It's a personal thing. I may come and testify to you how God has been faithful and everything. Until, unless you experience that from God, you're not going to understand it. So personally, I, when I came to campus, I was fr- in high school. I was I was baptized in high school. Yeah. So I used to learn a lot about Adventism and everything. Mm. But when I came to campus, I met these strong people. I would come to prophecy class. I really enjoyed prophecy class. Yeah. I n- I was really troubled to know more about prophecy. prophecy. You know, after there, kuna kitu imekupita, you're supposed to go back and do it and do it. So, sometimes uh, I would take my lesson and do it like daily, on a daily basis. Sure. It helped me understand the Bible. Mm-hmm. And then secondly, the more I would go to these Bible studies, I would always like, 
contact the, the, the whoever was teaching and ask for more topics and everything so you know mtu ange to kutumia document you have to study on your own ivo and then the fact that at most on most occasions i was the one teaching so y- you can't teach what you don't know sure so it will actually put you on toes to do what to, to study it study more yeah. Yeah. and then uh, let me just say cuz that offered a very good platform i remember the afco program the AFCO, yeah. i was one of the people that oh. were trained there so you see from one experience to another yeah, and then you see how people teach their bible you get one point you yeah. add on what you have your techniques and everything you go sit in a class where they are studying the bible you see how they are they are handling it how they bring out a topic and everything yeah, sure. at the end of the day you notice that all this you will not understand if you don't study it sure you will not i remember prophecy was really really hard for me but right now i can say i'm at a place i sure. can actually explain to someone who doesn't know because i was explained to and i took a step to go and do it and study you it study more. and then maybe again another thing is a uh, I'm one person like I like viewing things from a simple manner like you just I can be sitting somewhere and then I just look how the trees are yeah, and you know learning from it nature yeah, yeah it draws you back to the point of creation yeah. I go back and so what was it that was being said about these and these sure. sometimes maybe you're walking on the street you see how people are walking how busy are, and then I ask myself man, how is how did god take time to create the mind of people you know <laughs> you go back and see actually you try to understand how things are going from the biblical perspective. perspective yeah yeah so basically it starts with the, with the your will uh, uh, are you willing to learn it yeah. starts from you the decision that you make okay i want to study this so many people are afraid of prophecy yeah. i'm sorry to say but majority of ladies yeah they're afraid that ah hiyo kubiri kwa mtumishi tumeachia elders and how <laughs> but the call to duty is a call to each and every person yeah. a man or a, yeah, a woman yeah. mm-hmm. a, chi- a child or an old person we all have a call of duty yeah. and and we cannot go to to the war without having the full armor the, the full comes. armor yeah. we have to search it from the uh, uh, scriptures yeah. and that that is a uh, 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 wonderful so you are living kozida in the next few months yeah you are finishing your school how do you s- how do you see life after what do you want to pursue what are your expectation mm, let me say i think kuzda brought an aspect in me maybe i never knew about one <coughs> although in high school i was yeah many asked me to be a leader apply for this position but i was ever reluctant like no 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 i can't do this so i would the back benches eh? <laughs> yeah, we just speak from behind mm. and our voices were so loud from behind. But the moment I came to Kuzda, given this position, serving with people, interacting with a lot of people, you know, it exposes you to know yourself more yeah. and to know the type of people. So personally, I'm a good teacher sure. of the Bible. Yeah. Yeah. I th- God has gifted me with that. Sure. So I want to study more. I want like, you know, sister, you the work of God, you can't just enter without being professional at it. Yeah. God wants things that are done nicely. Perfectly so standard. Personally given a chance, I am planning that later in my life I'm going to pursue theology. Wow. Yeah, and wow. then again in my line of chemistry, I won't leave chemistry <laughs> behind again. I want to do something more in the chemistry Chemi- path, uh, especially the pharmaceutical. Yeah. So at the long end these paths will meet at a point. Yeah. That so that's at amazing. At, at at now I see they are a bit divergent because trying to compare chemistry theology but I know in the end they're going to converge at the destiny where God wants it to be. Yeah, well, uh, it is it is it is uh, not that they are divergent. We have so many of our stu- students here from Kosda did different things and uh, undergraduate and they went and do uh theology. Uh I think you know you know some of them. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah sure. So is uh, your decision is awesome and yeah. uh, it is nice but the way kuza will be glad to have you back as a, a chaplain <laughs> here one day <laughs> thank you <laughs> and we are looking forward uh, 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 to to that so what what can you advise to as we come to a conclusion the young ladies that we have in kuzda those who are joining kuzda now you as a person who have been here for the past five years you have a vast of experience in this in this uh, church one thing i'll say let them step up beyond their fear everyone has that yeah. unless we go out unless we face our fears and go beyond it we're not going anywhere so i'll just let them like and then the another thing they understand that someone sitting and looking at us 
they have seen something greater in us that maybe we may not have realized. Yeah. So by the time someone comes and tell you you are going you can be this leader or you can lead in this position or you can serve under this department the first thing is let them accept. Sure. Yeah. With me I never have the for little I'm a very few times will I say no to when it comes to the matters of the church very little. And by the time I'm saying no I really have my own reason to back it up. Most of the times is like Sure. You want us you want me to do this Bible study? Let me do it. Yeah. You want me to go somewhere and preach? Okay, let me go. Yeah. You get the point. Yeah. Have that spirit first of willing to willing, go. Yeah, willing to go. And then secondly, when you're willing in that position, you're going to learn a lot of things. Sure. And then actually as you learn the things that are around that point and about people, you rediscover yourself more. Sure. It's it's a place where you explore and even the things at the end of that period or at that session, you notice that I never knew this about me and actually it encourages you more and more and you appreciate the person you're becoming. Sure. Let me say the girl who entered here in 2016 is a very different advanced and I see a lot of things gaining to myself more and more. I really learned myself and I appreciate that. Why it not for Kuzda? It wouldn't be the same. Wow. Yeah. There's been grace. <coughs> There's been great. Uh thank you so much for being uh, a servant of God, a true servant of God, by the way, mm -hmm. in Kusda Church. So many people, by the way, so many people look up to you. You know, when you are a leader, you may not know, but there are a lot, a multitude of people who look up to you. And I can say from my own human perspective that uh, you have worked well for Kusda and we are indebted. But And we say thank you. <laughs> and also thank you for joining me today, even as we come to uh, the end of this uh, discussion. I hope that someone somewhere is going to be encouraged by your life experience in Kuzda. And uh, even as we continue working for uh, uh, for God, or rather with God, here and even after yeah. uh, Kuzda, let's continue with the fire burning and uplifting the banner of Christ. Thank you so much and uh, may God bless you. Let's meet uh, next Friday. Mm -hmm.